Quedó muy arriba, ¿no? Sí. All right, another wonderful spot here in Utah. Got got the nice rocks in the background with the sheep. Very very picturesque. Luke here, always doing something like usual. Yeah, seems like the weather's finally breaking up a little bit, and we're able to get around. I mean, not very many full, super full days of shearing, but enough where we are making progress for the sheep shearing season. But yeah, we're in Utah now. Back in Utah. Actually, I think this is our first Utah, Utah job of the year, actually. We're all still having a good time here, drinking lots of coffee, shearing some sheep. These sheep are, um, we shore the ewe lambs yesterday in Colorado, and they shore pretty nicely. Clean, clean wool, not too big. So hopefully their moms will shear the same, hopefully. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Ralph McWilliams Shearing Supplies. And uh, this is Ralph McWilliams himself. Uh, he is one of the main distributors of sheep shearing gear and equipment, hand pieces, anything related to sheep shearing in the US. And as you can see, he has a nice selection of combs and cutters, hand pieces, machines, anything sheep, sheep shearing related he has for uh, the seasoned shears or just people who want to shear one or two head. You know, uh, don't be afraid to give him a call and uh, he'll, uh, he'll be more than happy to answer your questions and have a good, and have a good talk with you about anything sheep shearing related. Driving through the dead of night Rethinking every choice I made the times I've hit just left to right I wonder why I can't feel nothing I wonder if I've gone insane I wonder if she really loves me As bad as that hurts me to say Darling, I Can't get out this door because of that. Well, she had 540 some, 46 sheep today. They do, they do not shear like their daughters. Not that smooth or clean, but still doable. Oh. 
Lambs are a little more enjoyable, but we're getting through these girls. Hey Luke, you wanna go for a hike and just check out the scenery up there? Let's go climb some rocks. Yeah? I mean, Eddie's not here to call his girlfriend, so, here, but, so. but we, we can still go exploring, right? Yeah. Okay. What is going on here? Well, Wyatt, what are you doing? Dude, I ran like two, three, two and a half miles. Why? We didn't have service. To, to make a phone call? Come get you. Okay. Dude, he's, he's, he's stuck. stuck. <laughs> he's stuck pretty good. <laughs> like two and a half, three miles that way. Oh, oh. I Today see. on this wonderful morning, we're out for a drive on BLM land. Because of that, right there. All right, we got the supplies. We were down there last night, trying to get undone. We have Macho Man going down. There he goes. There he goes. So heavy. I remember when I was 26. I used to be like that too. I'm gonna throw this down to got Jack. The aftermath of last night. Yeah. Hmm. Right, oh yeah. Look at this thing. Guys, who sheared those sheep? Who sheared those sheep? We did. Yeah. We did pretty good. After many hours of digging in rocks, we got it out. And a lot of commotion and aggressive talking. But it's done. Hey, thanks for watching that video. And also from this point on, I'm going to be separating my sheep sharing adventures with my other adventures. So I'm gonna be split my YouTube channel into two, turn the sheep sharing channel into an exclusive sheep sharing channel. But on my other channel, you know, it will be all my other adventures, outdoor adventures, shooting, and uh, in photography, all my other passions, outdoor passions. So be sure to check that out too. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and check out my other channel. And also don't forget to check out my store too, where you can see my photos, I, where you can see my photography and see the photos that I've taken. All right, see you later.